may be time is stopped when jimin oops it's not jimin but jim should we start again may be time is stopped when jim's lips made yours oh wait it was still jimin's lips though well jimin's lips but jim's soul that's better your heart pounded in your chest when your senior kiss you instead of pushing him away you close your eyes and could only focus on how soft his lips felt against yours your whole body tingled and your knees got weakened your heart skipped a beat you gasped when you felt tongue lick your lower lips you finally woke up from your fantasy and pushed jim away eyes widened shocked goosebumps your senior kissed you out of nowhere on top of that he is the head student the park gym and screw it he just stole your first kiss what in the toilet you shouldn't have kissed me like that you found yourself gas for air and try to regain your sense the senior gymin looked at you with widened eyes before his expression showed panicked you bet he felt sorry for doing this to you he better apologize but you are not going to forgive him easily you don't care if he is the park gymin how how would you like to be kissed you was stunned you did not expected this question what how could he ask you this question It's not like he is a kiss expert. He stepped forward and again your back was against the wall. You gulped nervously as you stared into his gaze. How do you want me to kiss you? Should we go to somewhere else? He asked while placing his hands on each side of your shoulder. Who said that I want your kiss? You asked stuttered while avoided his gaze. Every time you lie, your cheeks turn red. Huh? Not the most eloquent thing you would ever say, but it was the best you could come up with. Jimin, what are you doing? You asked, try to push him away. When he leaned forward, closed the distance between you both, but all you smelled was him, and that did funny thing inside your stomach. Suddenly, he cupped your face. It's Jim for you. He said, sounded so serious. Jim, remember that name and remember these eyes. He said and gazed lower to your lips. You gulped. Let's run away, Kia. What, Kia? And who is that? Or did he mistaken you with someone else? You don't know why, but why you feel disappointed and hurt? Kia, I'm not Kia. You said and pushed him away and tried to distance yourself from him. I think you have mistaken me with someone else. My name is Wyan, not Kia. You said and immediately ran away from the toilet. After this all of you can choose and register to any clubs you want to join in the booth in front of this auditorium and then at 11 am the meeting faculty will begin and I hope I hope all of you can gather at your own faculty's building to nominate the star and moon for the freshy star contest they all say to the freshers that's all from today's gathering thank you he said smiling and the freshers are to to their seniors The freshers began to leave the auditorium. Bella looked around searching for you. She took out her phone to call you but startled when you appeared out of nowhere. What's wrong with you? Bella asked confused when she saw you sat beside her while panting heavily. Are you okay? Why are you running? She asked again and looked around if you was being chased by someone. Why and Bella started to get worried when she saw you panted heavily. She immediately took your bag and searched for your inhaler. Yes, you had asthma. Where is it? Bella groaned in annoyance when she couldn't find the inhaler. Damn, why and how could you forget the important thing?
she said madly when she couldn't find the inhaler after threw out everything outside bella help you to sit up straight to keep your airway open and try to calm you and help you to steady your breath she unbuttoned two of the buttons from your shirt please give space for her bella said madly to the other freshers who were gathered around to see what's happening what's happening here jungkook asked but when he saw what was happening he immediately asked the other freshers to leave them you was still breathless you tried to calm yourself but you couldn't your lips Your lips turned blue and your pale white skin became whiter. Kia, a panicked voice echoed its gem. When he saw you, he immediately approached you. He shook up the inhaler in his hand before placing it in between your lips. You immediately took a few puffs, tried to breathe in and out, but you couldn't calm yourself. Jim took your hand and looked into your eyes. Listen to my voice. I have got you. You are fine. Breathe with me. Come on. You can do it. Jim's voice was so soft and he succeeded to make you calm down and you began to breathe in and out again and again with Jim's lead until you felt okay. Thank you. You said to him and Jim just ruffled your hair and his smile sweetly made you blushed. Bella took the inhaler from Jim and looked at him worriedly. Why you have her inhaler soon Benham? Huh? Oh, I see she accidentally dropped it in the toilet. Jim answered. Wong Wayan, are you feeling better now? If not, you can rest at in the infirm infirmary. Taeyong asked you. Face looked worried. It's okay, Sunbe. I'm okay now. You answered and getting un uncomfortable by Jim's case that never left you. You realize that Jim and Jim was looking at your slightly exposed chest or cleavage and you immediately button up your shirt. What a pervert. You said in your mind. Kia, Jim called while looking at you and everyone looked at him. Taeyong and Jungkook looked at each other before they nodded. Jim and let's go. Taeyong called and gripped Jim's wrist and immediately pulled him away. We are going. Take your wrong. Jungkook said and followed Taeyong who was a struggle to pull Jim. Wait, I need to talk to her. Kia. Jim said try to run from Taeyong's grip but he couldn't. When Jungkook also pulled him and they both dragged the went Jim out from there. Why did Jim and call you Kia? Bella asked to you once he, she sat down beside you. You just shrugged your shoulder. Here, Bella gave the inhaler back to you. Water? And she gave you the water bottle. You make me worried, Vyan. I'm sorry, Bella. I promise it will never happen again. He s you said smiling. Let me go. Jim went when he got dragged by Taehyung and Jungkook to the cafeteria. Other students only looked at them weird and chuckled. Looking at their head student, Jimin's went expression. He looked like a four-year-old boy who got carried by his dad because the boy didn't want to come home after spending too much time playing at the playground. Sit down. Taehyung said and instructed him to sit down. Jimin Jim pouted before he sat down, and both Taehyung and Jungkook sat beside him and locked their arms with Jim's. They were afraid Jim might run away if they didn't lock him. Explain. Wyan is Kia. Kia is Wyan, the one you have been searching for? Taehyung asked and Jim nodded. You guys know her? Not really. We just meet her this morning. Jackson introduced her to us. Jungkook answered. So what now? Taeyong asked him. What? Jim blinked. Now that you find her, what are you going to do? Taeyong asked, curious. Why should I tell you? Oh. 
oh come on tell us so that we can tell jimin what so that you can tell jimin what's going on when he came back yeah jim said mocking taehyung but only got a smack on the head by taehyung jim went and dropped his will jimin's head for now i can't tell you and i'm saying kia looked scared when she saw me so i don't really know what to do he sighed heavily you should call her yn not kia jungkook said is jackson close to kia i mean yn jim asked sounds jealous they are cousins very close i guess since jackson always brag about his smart cousin jungkook said hey jim taehyung called he eyed him before spoke if we help you to get kia will it change something change what do you mean they like you will never come back because you got what you want i don't know there was a long pause and silence before jim said will you help me to get kia he asked grinning but both jungkook and taehyung didn't give any answer jungkook was busy thinking about his banana milk while taehyung busy cursing at jim in his mind